you can do on a chair. But first we'll start with the ranges of motions of the leg that we did on the counter for people that aren't flexible enough to lift their leg all the way onto the counter, you can always use a chair. So first of all, make sure the chair is secure and it doesn't slide. Um, you can always hold on to a counter to make sure you're stable. Square your hips against the counter, put your leg up, make sure your knee is straight. If you need, you can go forward from here to get a really good hamstring stretch. Uh, second one, you could turn your hip out Keep your knee straight, tuck your tailbone. This knee is facing up towards the sky so you can get a good inner thigh stretch. You can also bend your knee, push your knee out, bring your hip out to get a great inner thigh stretch. Third one is the pigeon pose. Again, if your leg doesn't come all the way up towards the counter, you could just uh, bend your knee slightly here to get a good stretch in your hip area. Again, you never want to feel it in your knee. You just want to feel it in your hip area. Uh, a couple of other great stretches that I use the chair for is a twist. Uh, place your knee right over your toes. Press both of your hips back against the counter. Hold that knee in. Make your spine super tall, lengthen each time you inhale, you're going to make yourself taller. As you exhale, you're going to twist, making sure you're pressing both of your hips back into the counter. You can use the cabinet to help you twist more or just use your hand. So one of the great things about using the counter is that you have some kind of sense of where your hips are. And the whole time you want to press both of your hips back into the counter. So lengthen, press both of your hips back, lengthen your spine, and twist. So that's a twist. Another great stretch you could do on a chair is you could just sit back, squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other, and then lock your fingers. Press your head into your fingers and your fingers back into your head and lean back. You're almost doing a mini back bend here, but again, I don't want you to squish your neck. You wanna lengthen your neck and look up towards the sky as you bring your shoulder blades away from each other. This is a great little stretch. Another really great stretch for your hips is to come up and bring your heel up on the chair and bring your knee towards your opposite shoulder. So you're going to press your knee towards your opposite shoulder. This stretches your IT band, your glute. Sit here for a while, make your spine super tall. And then once you feel a little bit opened up here, you can go into a little bit of a twist. So again, use everything you have around you to get your stretches deeper. I usually like push into whatever objects in front of me to make myself sit taller. Inhale, exhale, and twist. And you could do that on both sides. You could bring your ankle over your opposite knee and gently press into your knee uh, to get a really good stretch in your glutes. This is an amazing hip stretch. Again, you don't want to feel it in your knee, you want to feel it in your hip. And if you do feel it in your knee, one way to take care of it is to rotate your whole hip out. That rotates it in its socket so it's, the pressure is less in your knee. Uh, you can cross your knee, do a little twist here. You can open your legs wide and gently walk yourself forward. This is a great stretch for your inner thighs and your lower back. But when you go down here, if you can't go all the way down, you can bring uh, a ball, a couple of pillows, anything to put your hands down here so you're still getting a good stretch in this position. When you are coming up, make sure you're supporting yourself to come up because that could be a lot on your lower back. And I love this stretch. You push both of your knees out, you keep your shoulders away from your ears, and then you do a twist. You're almost lining up your two shoulders towards each, on top of each other, and you twist, pushing your knee out, 
and bringing your shoulder away from your body, you get a really nice stretch along your sides. So you could go side to side, twist and twist. 